Forget it. Huh. Getting money for our legal like to drink. I don't care what a broke nigga thinks. Like Look, everything I do so cold. I can do this both eyes closed. Too short. I stay on my toes. About that white boy. Anything goes. Help the bearers. We outside. Help the bearers. We outside. Still tipping, baby. Nothing changed. Grinding over here, yeah Still sliding through my own lane This shorty nothing funny over here Dallas rain everywhere I am Dream to get money Made it through the storm, living sunny Dreams came true, now we eating I got more dreams to chase, gotta reach them uh, Trying to put a team together like the Hunger Games Everybody grinding together, we all came from Hunger Pain We gonna get into this Late ill kid, at one y'all So holding it down, bring that street geeky nurse on what is up, my people? Today, all oh, year, coming with another wonderful episode of That's Right. You best believe it. I ain't telling you no lies. Dop your dope. I am not by myself. I am blessed to be in the presence. This brother right here. This is, this is a, I'm telling you, when I tell you this is a good brother right here, this is a good brother. All right. You might know him from such films. Start it. Don't you start it. <laughs> All right, cool, cool. I, I'm not going to list his, list his filmography. But you might know him as the five-time Grammy Award winning Clement Bryant. What's up? Again, you sneak in a lie to the people. Every time that you lie to the people, <laughs> I'm going to call you on it. Don't make me do my Denzel impression, man. Like, oh, can't. For all can't. y'all, phone program or whatever. I can't remember. Is it phone check program? Whatever you said in that movie. I can't remember. Like nah. King Kong. Nah. All right, King so uh, yeah, no. <laughs> anyways, so guys, we got we got DC news to get into, and you know I'm look I'm what have you done for me lately? And lately, DC been good. So you know what I'm saying. We got DC news, but first, Clement brought up something that I completely I completely been kind of like quiet and silent hush hush about because I haven't been looking, but. Black Panther, they always trying to steal the thunder. You know what I'm saying? Look, you Black Adam had a Bruh. good weekend. All right. People was happy about Black Adam. Y'all saw the audience score. People was happy about it. And then Marvel was like, I don't like that. All right. I don't <laughs> like that. Let me drop this trailer for this Christmas special. All right. Now let's do this red carpet. All right. They don't like it. And and let's not forget Rihanna coming out with new music. Oh, yeah. Rihanna finally coming out with some new music. People, I know Rihanna fans are happy. You know, and she got new yeah. music. And what, what album is it on? It's on a Black Panther song. Black Panther. Like, yeah. it's like, Marvel brought the heat this week for Black Panther. And also, like, yeah. and the Guardians Christmas special. Like, true that, true that. Like, I will say, 
Disney PR is, if not anything, very, <laughs> very good with timing. Very good timing. I, don't, uh, I wouldn't even say Disney PR is good with timing. I think Disney PR is wait until DC drops some and then drop it like the very next day. <laughs> yeah, it's it's literally, it's literally that. But also, like, they, instead of doing, like, one day blast or, like, Marvel, we got Black Panther, we got the Ant-Man trailer, which came out this week. Like, yeah, Ant-Man too? Ant-Man came out, so, like, they had a systematic week of, okay, so we got Ant-Man trailer, Guardians yeah. Christmas special, then the Black Panther premiere, all within one week, and then also, here's some and notice, new- this is all within one week after high praise for a, Dis- for a DC property. Uh-huh. DC so, property hasn't had people praising it this highly in a long time. Now yeah. all of a sudden Marvel got like 18 videos to put out in a week. Y'all ain't fooling me. They waited. And and the thing is, they ain't done yet. They ain't done yet. <laughs> it's like we, all right, still so, um, OBP, we so. got uh we do have some early, you know, reactions from the red card. I mean from the the premiere screening and stuff, but I know you've looked into it. I I've been kind of like hush hush on it, um. But tell t- tell me what they say. Tell me what they say. What they say? I'm, they're saying reactions are good. I mean, I know I know what you're probably gonna say is like you know reactions coming out of world premiere are always hype, and then you get into the actual movie reviews and people are like, nah, not so much. But it's like, you know, for the people that I do trust, that I do trust not to hype something up unnecessarily. Okay, because they get invited to the premiere, they've all said great things about it. Um, right. I've heard reactions of it being, you know, it kind of breaks up the whole MCU template of like humor, serious moment, serious moment, more humor, humor, humor. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, humor in it, but it like it really does a good job of leading, like not I don't capitalize on the wrong word, but following up about. Chadwick's death and honoring Chadwick in a great way. Um, they say Letitia Wright steals the show. Angela Bassett steals the show. They say Namor is terrifying. That he's a good villain. Um, so okay. All that kind of stuff. So, you know, I don't. I will leave it to the millions and millions of nerd soul fans. That was a deep cut. If you didn't get, <laughs> you saw that. You saw that, right? Yeah, I, I like that. I like that. I, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but kind of talk about the Black Adam reference the rock yeah. reference but like <laughs> i'll leave that to everyone else to kind of gather it so you know you don't want to spoil anything you don't want to hype it up but like you know i'm gonna go see it you know yeah you know? i've already got my ticket uh shouts out to silhouetted animator uh shouts out to architron in the chat um i real quick before we get to to dc the the thing i guess the big thing for me is this is a movie that on top of it being a premiere, rarely would you see, I I doubt I'm gonna see anybody trash this movie, even if it was trash. Now, it's Ryan Coogler, so I doubt it's gonna be trash, but if the movie right. was bad, I wouldn't expect to see, I wouldn't expect to see anyone say anything bad about it because of uh, the, the passing of Chadwick, because of the women empowerment You'd be crazy to even say anything bad about this movie in the first place. There's a couple of storylines that have been in the rumors. I hope they're just rumors and they're not real, but we'll see when we see it. We got what a week, two weeks, something like that. Not so like two weeks. Yeah. So we'll see it. I I just oh man, I just hope it's good. I really do. I'm already not happy about. One of the main points of the movie we talked about many times, but I hope it's good. If it's good, I can roll with it. So yeah, we'll we'll watch that up. Look, Black Panther's on the way. Hope y'all got y'all tickets. Or if you, if you mad and you don't want to get no ticket, I understand why you didn't get the ticket. So I'm not gonna fight you on that. I I get it. Me, yeah. I also don't want to watch the movie on Twitter either. So I kind of I kind of gotta see it because you y'all know how y'all do. Uh, y'all be in the movie theater like, oh, snap. Oh, did you see this part? It's like, well, no, I didn't see the part. You in the movie, not me. But uh, anyway, on to DC. They got they got some news. A, a bombshell, if you will. Uh, DC yeah. came out and they said, look, Walter Hamada put in his, in his uh, two weeks, all right? And they said, hey, 
We got to do something. We got we to gotta get out of here. We got we to get out of here before this, in front of this, and make sure, you know what I'm saying, for show, for show, that we get someone else to run D.C. D.C. Studios, they talk about the TV, the film, the, the, the and animation, they, all that. Everything. Yeah. And they say, you know what? Instead of having one person, what's, what's better than one? Two. Well, I mean, sometimes yeah. two is better than one. I don't know. But, you know what I'm saying? They, they, were, like, they were like Jay Diller. They said one won't do. All right? They said we got we to gotta have not only uh, James Gunn, but also... Peter Safran, Safran, yeah. Safran. What? I apologize for screwing up your name because I probably did. But I said it two ways, so maybe I hit it. But they're they're supposed to be heading up DC, all right? So they're they're going to be running everything. Now, of course, they're going to be co CEOs. One is more of a producer, one's more of a director, but they're going to be together. James Gunn will do more of the creative side, and Peter will do more of the you know of the business side. Yeah. This feels like Pearl Mutter and Kevin. <laughs> I don't think it doesn't. Have, it doesn't. It's just in my mind. I'm feel. I'm feeling like this is. This is going to be a problem. No. Like, yeah. I. I get where you're going, but I think it. Here's the thing. Bazlaff has been clear that he's wanted a Kevin Feige to steer the ship for DC, right? Yeah. Yeah. He has. Kevin Feige doesn't come around every day someone that is a fan that understands what fans want that understands the business yeah. side that understands and how to he's a, and he's a showman and he's a showman and he understands how to talk to talent and if you don't know how to talk to talent and we're not talking like you know what are the mill tv actors we're talking like top of the a-list top of the hollywood chain actors and if you don't know how to Talking, we saw that with you know Chapik and you know the Black Widow scandal last year, um, with mm. Scarlet. So if you don't know how yeah. to talk to talent, and that actually, is a- not only talk to talent, you're really in most of these cases mostly how to talk to agents, but right. most it's of this stuff is probably it. agents. I doubt, I doubt, you know, Scarlett Johansson was like, "Hello, man, I speak to Bob." You know, what I mean? like- but it's like, <laughs> and sometimes some agents, some actors will get on it, especially if they have an executive producer credit. Scarlett had an EP yeah. credit on Black Widow. So, like, I think this is the next best thing outside of Feige because you have a director that knows how to talk to talent, that knows how to talk to them. And then you have okay. Saffron, who understands the business side. So I feel like you have that, you know, meeting of the minds, that mind meld, to reference another franchise. But it's like, I feel like this is a really good move. I was shocked by it. Yeah, I, especially considering you know Guardians is coming out in May, yeah. and you have the Christmas show dropping next month. It's like, how is that gonna work? Was one of my first questions. But look, yeah, I, I'm pretty it, sure this is probably the end of that tenure on the Marvel side. Now, yeah, I know. Before I get started, I know there's people that love James Gunn, and they worship at the altar of James Gunn. I'm not super impressed. I'm not. I made that known at the Suicide Squad movie when it came out. It was cool, but it was almost on the side of Taika Waititi where I'm like, I think y'all, it was a little too James Gunn. <laughs> like, like, we needed one tablespoon of James Gunn and y'all gave us five. Like, a little, a little too much James Gunn. Just like see, a little too much Taika Waititi, but we'll see how he runs this because it's I, ugh, creatively I think we're going from one end of the spectrum with Zack Snyder to yeah. all the way to the other yeah. with James Gunn and James Gunn it, especially after seeing especially after seeing uh, Black Adam which I'm like super pumped about I just know I know how James Gunn does we've seen James yeah. Gunn have his have his way a couple times now. Yeah. And I don't want to see Guardians of the Galaxy or I don't want to see The Suicide Squad over and or I don't want to see Peacemaker over and over again. I don't. And that's yeah. he's not diverse enough. And I know when people say diverse, what do you mean? I know people be like he old, he old, but look at someone like Steven Spielberg. 
Look at that. someone like um look at someone like Michael Mann or Martin Scorsese, who's kind of like done it all to a certain degree. Um yeah. now is Martin Scorsese a little bit more pigeonholed because he's just he's just the 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 mob crime boss of all films. But Steven Spielberg has done everything and done it at a high level. He's just not there. And but at the same time, does he need to be? You know, does he need to be good at everything? If he's going to be helming a universe that has different heroes that have different motivations, different backstories, different families, different lives, I'd say yeah. But <laughs> James Gunn say, I mean, uh, silhouette, silhouette animator say, James Gunn loves to recycle his alien parasite plot. So, I mean, you know, for Slither and like, and yeah. see all the concerns, like, uh, you know, that you guys are talking about, like, I hear that for sure. It's like, I think, I think when you have a director that knows their shtick, like, you know, Scorsese mm -hmm. has the gangster flicks, it's like, yeah. But he's also varied it up from time to time. He did Shutter Island. It's like, yep, and Shutter he, Island was on point. Yeah, right. And so, like, you know, I feel like James has the ability to go there, especially considering like the shades of like horror that he's done. Right, he's done horror, mm -hmm. and so I feel like I want to see what he can do with DC, especially considering some of the stuff that's like less of like a team building, like you know, going from oh. Guardians to Suicide Squad that's not too much of a jump. You're not going with a space opera, but you still have a team element there. Um, yeah. That you can also, because it's a rated R movie, you can go further with it than you can with the Guardians thing. Um, so I feel like James has it in him to go a little bit more creative, but I do want to see when you have like the stuff like the DC black level stuff like Joker, right? Like that's not really in a universe. Batman's a lot darker than what anything that he would do. Yeah. I I want to uh, see literally darker. I'm like, what's going right. on on the screen? I, <laughs> hey, <laughs> Bro, uh, like they I mean, that you know, was dark. I mean, it was dark. It was dark, but you know, it was uh -huh. also a good movie. Uh <laughs> Why are you looking like Ken Jong in the gift, man, from Community, man? I, I, I had to. Is, is like, that Batman? I think he's fighting somebody. No, but it was cool. I did enjoy it. I did enjoy no, it. Yeah. it was, I it was, also it was said, cool. if you live in Gotham, you need to move. But go ahead. I mean, I mean who would want to live in Gotham? I would not want to live in Gotham. Uh, but we're getting on top of it. But like, yeah, it's like, let's see how it goes and then judge. Like, here's my thing Hamada, for what he did at the end of it, Hamada got DC on track for a little bit with yeah. Aquaman. Aquaman was good. Straight made a lot, made over a billion dollars. Like, you know, Suicide hey, I Squad. Thought, cool. I thought Walter Batman was kind of doing pretty all right. I mean, now of course, it's a shame because at the very end of his tenure, we get we get Black Adam to come out. And honestly, I know there's people that might feel a certain way about Black Adam. Right. This is the first DC I've been pumped about. This is the first DC movie, sorry, DC movie I've been pumped about. This is the first DC movie I've been in where I've heard people cheer and 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 laugh and roar and applaud in a long time. I think the last time I heard applause and cheering might have been back at like Man of Steel Wonder Woman time. Like the first Wonder Woman, not the second one. It's been a while. I've seen Black Adam twice. I can't tell you the last DC property, live action DC EU thing that I've been like, oh, I want to go back again. Like I saw the movie on, I think Thursday, I went back and saw it on Sunday. Like, mm -hmm. and the, look at the audience score. The audience is hype about it too. Yeah. I think what, what the audience is saying is, look, you open up any, generally any superhero comic book, this is what you see. This is what we want. Stop trying to mix genres and, and elevate the genre and doing all this mess. Yes, it can work and it can be cool. But bruh, we want to see super strong people fight. Like, what's the dude in uh, Godzilla? Let them fight. That's what we want to see. We want to see them fight. Like, Hawkman was not, Hawkman was not playing. Black Adam won't play. It. He was like, you got to let them judge. He was like, I let the gods judge. Them. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's what we want to see. When he threw a dude into a jet motorbike, that's what we want to see. <laughs> we want to see that. 
<laughs> and we've been know, asking for it. And you can see because the audience is like, look, this is what we've been asking for, bro. This is what we want. And that is not James Gunn. If James Gunn would have made that movie, it would not have. It would have been a whole bunch of silliness. You, any silliness that y'all might or might not have liked from Adam Smasher, turn that up to 10 because you're about to get more. So, but we do have some stuff like this quote. Uh, there's a quote that says, DC has among the most entertaining, powerful, and iconic characters in the world. I'm thrilled to have the singular and complimentary talents of James and Peter joining our world-class team and overseeing the creative direction of the story DC Universe, said uh, Zasloff. Um, no, I'm screwing that up, excuse me. <clears throat> uh, their decades of experience in filmmaking, uh, close ties to the creative community, and proven track record, uh, thrilling superhero fans around the globe make them uniquely qualified to develop a long-term strategy across film, TV, and animation and take this iconic franchise to the next level of creative storytelling. So, with that said, I know there's a lot of trust in there. I know there's a lot of trust in there. And you got, I mean, you hired the dudes. Ah, man, I really hope this don't blow up in our face because I just got hype about DC. I'm hype about DC again. I want to I mean, see look. now Shazam. I kind of you kind of know what you're getting. I already know it's not for me. But right. Aquaman 2, I'm like, yo, man, what y'all got? Go on, show me something good. Come on, man. I'm hype. I'm hype, DC. Come on, show me what you got now. But don't look come don't not with the silly stuff. Not don't don't hit me with the silly silly. All right? Come on now. No, nah, and I th and I think I, here's the thing. It's like the whole press release reads like a regular press release, so I, I would expect yeah. nothing else. Like from a press release, especially of like of that magnitude, right? And that's mm -hmm. something so, so you know important. I'm in the camp of let's see how it goes because, like, I just like first of all, I don't have the energy to uh, like hate something in advance of seeing something. If it don't go right, then it doesn't go right. Then we have yeah. proof that it's like, you know, all right, this is hated. But it's also like, maybe it'll be good, you know? And also, like, at least at least we have someone who knows the comics. Like, True. At least we do have someone. And they've been they've been down this road before. So we right. do have that. You know what I'm saying? They've so been we down have... this road before, so maybe... You know, and they said they were going to plan, a, you know, plan and do the, take the, you know, take the franchise. So maybe, maybe they right now, they're planning out the movies and they, they got some kind of intricate because, you know, plots and stuff that they're going to put together and put it, bring everybody together into one cohesive or slightly cohesive universe. Since you could say that this happens on Earth 5 and this happens on Earth whatever. But... You know, uh, we got so many loose threads that I wonder if they're going to get snipped now. Now, people been acting like Young Justice is is gone. I don't know if it's super gone. I hope not. I hope it's not super gone. I hope it. I hope it's not but, either. But like, but Titans, Titans put out a new trailer. I ain't even watch it. I'm gonna be honest. Last honestly, season, they got my last. They got my last little bit of money last season. I was like, yo. I can't do it no more, y'all. I didn't I, even I tried. Titans. I didn't watch the last season of Titans. Like I had way too much going on in my life at the time. You ain't missed nothing. I mean, I mean, I things. I read up on it, but I was just like, all right, like something like Doom Patrol gets my attention because Doom Patrol is different. Yeah, it always manages to top itself. Whereas yeah. Titans, it's always like the same old thing, and that's not to shade anyone. It's just personal what I'm looking for out of media that I consume. Yeah. Um, but, you know, that's why I'm just kind of like, let's see what happens with it. I'd rather have someone who understands the comics and is proven to understand the comics rather than just another business suit that's like, all right, and that's kind of what Hamada was. Hamada was a suit. Yeah. I don't know if you really knew the comics, but for what he did, he did have some successes there. So, yeah, which is because, like, honestly, I'm not even... I'm not even against the suit as long as they're open to saying like, hey, look, I know I'm a suit, so I know I don't know this stuff. But educate me and we can go from there. I'm I'm open to that. Like I'm not I'm not against someone who's like, hey, 
I don't really know about this stuff. But y'all teach me. I'll handle the I'll handle the money side. And if some start tripping, then we'll we'll get together. But you know, I'm because Walter Hamada. I mean, shoot, look, let's be for real. We got uh, we got that we got that Black Adam. Oh uh, yeah. Um, uh, and the silhouette animator says Titans also has broken writing. Donna saving Bruce seconds before he tortures himself on the other side of the globe. Yeah, don't we're not don't get me started. But I mean, I. Look, I'm not against I, it. I just think like I wonder if we're getting names for namesake instead right. of kind of getting something that might actually be good for the universe as a whole, especially when y'all. But I mean, James Gunn might sit down and be like, "Oh, cool. We got a we got a real schedule. We got movies that are coming out. We got more than just because right now it still seems. I mean." It still seemed like there's like two heroes in the DC universe. Black Adam did more for the DC EU than like the last Wonder Woman did. Like, I mean, he's brought in the Justice Society. We brought in Intergang, which has other you know implications with like Dark Side. We got yeah. we got Amanda Waller who somehow has like goodwill with heroes now. That's something that was weird, but I was like, all right, I guess we'll just let it roll for this story. But yeah. <laughs> but, but besides besides that, I'm like the people that ran this. We we need to give them a go. Like whoever ran this, the Rock and whoever the writers produce, they because Hawkman, the, Pierce Brosnan. Even though we probably won't see him again, but Spoilers. yo, all the actors came through, came to play. They were well casted. Yeah, yo man. See, and here's the thing. When you have someone like The Rock who knows what the fans want because he himself True. is a fan of Black Adam. And he comes from wrestling, which is completely different. Right. Wrestling is that, like, yeah. look, you got to give them what they want because they all in this stadium right now. Right. You know, it, so. It's yeah. like the, re- the wrestling thing was a good training ground for dealing with this kind of fandom because you know, you know what people want. You know what they're looking for. You know, I didn't see the movie. I heard mixed things. Again, just facts, just stating facts. But like, yeah. you know, and that's what kind of to my point with talent. So like someone like Gun knows what fans want, knows how to subvert expectations. Because like when he got, you know, hired to do the first Guardians movie way back when, I was like, what? True, James true. Gun? And then I saw it. I was like, okay, I get where, where why, why they were, why they went with him. But like, you know, I'm in the world of letting see it because we almost had Dan Lin as, you know, the head of the DC of the DC of DC. So it's like, but that didn't work out because a complicated financing deal with Universal. So it's kind of like, I'm inclined to your point of names for names' sake. If it was someone like a flashy name, like, oh, okay, we got, I don't know. Let's say we got, we hired, I'm just trying to think of a name. Let's say we got, you know, Seth MacFarlane for the DCU. That's a name for namesake. But like, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying, though? You know what? I will Someone retract who, my previous statement for James. You know what I'm saying? I know, I know, I'm trying, I'm trying to figure Seth out. Seth MacFarlane, name. I would have been like, Okay, stop. Right. I'm exactly. Saying, like everybody, I mean, hold up. Let's think for a second. I like just like a name for name's sake, like you know, Dan Len. Okay, he's done Lego movie. That that would be a name for sake. But someone who is like fans know, fans know Saturn, they know James Gunn, they know DC's in shambles. Shambles. Um well semi shambles. I I mean shambles. But like, you know, I think DC to me is kind of like the team that makes it to the playoffs, but they're usually out in the first or second round. Like they're they're not horrible. Right. But they need help. Right. And like, <laughs> and honestly, I was really upset about the Batgirl thing. I was like, Yeah. I was upset at the but but I feel I'm like, like you made the part. movie, just put it out. I mean, the movie right. done now. But I feel like this is in the first thing that Zaz has done that could work for us, that is added to yeah, what we as fans. Discovery been... other, right. I feel like this is the, this was a good decision in the right direction. 
because yeah. Batgirl, all the other stuff that they've been doing with HBO Max, taking things off of HBO Max, like you know, we like fans, point or- fans ain't happy, so I guess they needed they a win. win. They needed so it's like they needed the Black Adam win. They right. need they needed the Black Adam win. They needed the the goodwill of like James Gunn guys. Like everybody get happy, like because yeah. I, I forgot about that. Yeah, you're right. It, mm. It's like... They it, they do need some wins. They need some wins. And so, like... And I'm not saying they did this for wins for one's sake. But this is more of a good thing. And also... Word, right, word. Right. To announce it on the same day that they released the Guardian special. The Guardians Square Trails. Oh, I'm like... Yeah. Woo! What? <laughs> and, uh... Geeky Andre said, I hope we still get to see the Blue Beetle movie. Yeah, like that. Right. We haven't heard <laughs> anything about that. Blue Beetle, Green Lantern is getting retooled. Like, they're going to go with Jon Stewart, which is great that they're going to do something with Jon Stewart. Yeah. But the fact that they spent all this time working on Green um, on you know Green Lantern, and we haven't seen Lick Shorters there, and casting, all that kind of stuff, it's like, look, at this point, let's see what Gunn does. Let's see what Saffron does. I feel like it's like because they next- do have. Yeah, what's on the way? We got Blue Beetle. Blue Beetle. I mean, technically, Batgirl doesn't have to be dead. I it mean, doesn't have to be, but it doesn't Beetle. have to be. Like, it doesn't but, have to be dead. I just me. I'm I'm one of those people where it's like, if we spent all this money, at least put it out. Might as well. You we spent right. all this money. But, but but you got Blue Beetle that mm-hmm. I don't know if it's done filming or not. I think it's done filming. I can't it, remember. I, it's been a while since I've heard anything about it. Yeah, uh-huh. so um maybe they're wrap they're done filming and now it's just some some level of post production if it if it's getting dropped or not. But I want to. I don't, I'm not a super fan of it, but I do see where you're coming from. Uh, he's been down the road before. So he knows kind of what other directors and writers will have to go through. Right. Um, and maybe he'll be able to kind of like, uh, see, maybe and- he'll be able to kind of coach them and help them through this process instead of being the situation of the, the artist that also wants to be a label owner. You know what I'm right. saying? It's like, because, I mean, I know y'all love y'all some Jay-Z, but let's be honest. Jay-Z trying to be president of Def Jam while also trying to be an artist was not good for Def Jam. Or when you have a player trying to, you know, someone trying to be a coach and also be an actor, I mean, I mean, also be a player, stuff like that, it it can, it can be tough sometimes. Yeah. Um, but then you also have A plus stuff where someone's a director and a you know and an actor. So you never know. I mean, you never know. And like I feel like James is suited for this in a certain way because he was brought on under when Joss was shepherding the MCU with Kevin, mm. right? Right? True. And True. so in the same way that Gun's gonna be Gun and are gonna be working with talent. For TV animation and film, mm. they okay, have, okay. James has that experience of being mentored, so we can apply that to people coming in for DC. Yeah. Now, so hopefully, and I know I sound like a shill, <laughs> but hopefully, we won't have any won't more pause. public problems with James Gunn. Look, <laughs> James Gunn, like you know. Cause I, I feel like- I'm not I'm not going to touch any 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 public yeah. issues, James Gunn. That's a whole nother video. Hopefully, they vetted him and was like, "Look, hey, no more. All right, yeah. uh, whatever you doing is done. All right, get it." Right. <laughs> I mean, look, we'll see. We'll see what happens, man. Like, it's 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 a better decision than saying, "Hey, let's hire." you know, random comic book Panther Shepherd, the DCU. It's like, true. you know, you know what I'm saying? Should have got me, son. Should have got me holla. No, I was playing. <laughs> honestly, that, honestly, that is a hard, that is a hard job. That is a yeah, hard I, job. I don't want to, I don't, I don't, I don't want that job. Uh, I'm, 
Well, I kind of want it, but then I kind of don't. I mean, Zaz, when you talk about a suit, and I don't use the word suit as in a derogatory manner. I use that as like a euphemism for a businessman. Zaz yeah, a very a strict visit. Man. He is a businessman. That's like, you know. He's a business uh, man. Man, right. Nice. <laughs> nice. That callback. But it's like that job, if you're looking for a Kevin Feige, that means True. his expectations are to the stratosphere. Right? Yeah. So for that alone, I give that, I give kudos to Gunn and Saffron for even trying to be up for it to take on that challenge. Cause I wouldn't want that challenge. Yeah, because we don't we also don't know the the time limit that they have either. Like, is it because I mean I even say this, I say this a lot in sports. They'll be like, oh well, they just brought this coach in, he's doing horribly. Bruh, it's been five games. Like, right. like it's I mean. Let's be honest. For a coach to for a coach to change change a culture of a team, you're talking about like three three to five seasons. I mean, let's say at the at best two seasons. People be mad at people be mad at a coach in like five ten games. They be like, "What's going on?" They be like, "Bro, he got the same people. He got to hold on. Do Give him a draft." Hamada, that, remember when Hamada <laughs> came on? People were like, "Hamada." whatever yeah and, and i was like you know these movies was made before he even showed up right right and so it's like and it's like i feel like when we talk about the flash <sighs> we got to remember that gun saffron had nothing to do with flash had nothing to do with flash had nothing to do with aquaman had nothing Word. to do with blue beetle they are taking on they're not gonna have anything to do with joker 2 they're not gonna oh really, man uh, they're not gonna touch on you know, Batman 2 or anything like that. It's like whole new stuff, whole new guard. So I feel like Gunn and Saffron are going to get a little, especially when we see what happens to The Flash. Like, for me, the biggest question coming out of DC right now is what happens with The Flash. Blue Beetle, not worried about know, it. Y'all know how I feel about, about, about it. Flash. I, I don't know, man. I have You no know idea. how I feel about Flash. A long time ago, I would right. call that person in and said, "We we thank you for your service. Goodbye." And we'll see. There's, there's a rumor that um that they hired. I, I've seen some of this. And I don't know if it's true. I know it's a rumor that they hired a cat named uh, George George McKay to replace um, Ezra Miller. So I, if no, it's true, I, Ezra I, gotta I go. I'm sorry, Ezra look, gotta go. I don't look all this like Ezra. I'm, I'm surprised, it, dude. Like, what hasn't he done? <laughs> like, maybe it's just what DC likes. DC, DC wants you to be like criminalistic to a certain degree, and they're like that gives you your credibility or something. Maybe, maybe that's it. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know, man. I don't know. So it's just like, look. Let's see what Gun does. Let's see what Saffron does. Like, let's see how it does. Let's let's see where it goes. And like, we have the benefit of Jim Lee still being there as CCO. Like, mm, true. J Jim yeah. Lee and Jim Gun working together. I'd like to see it. I he, here's my here's my next question about DC. I know y'all ain't gonna do nothing with this, but I mean, hey, why not? Y'all know y'all got the whole Dakota verse. Y'all ain't doing nothing with. Now nah, I know y'all ain't gonna do nothing with y'all. Like y'all like it's a whole bunch of black people. Yeah, y'all ain't gonna do nothing with that. But y'all oh, do have milestone. Y'all do have milestone. I know y'all ain't gonna do nothing with it. But I mean, you know, milestone. Y'all gonna put like a little rinky dink documentary on HBO about it. But you know, hey, let. I'll let that I'll let that slide. Well, we ain't gonna yeah. get into that. I know there's there's a whole bunch of emotions about I'm I'm gonna let y'all have y'all fades. I'm gonna, the, I ain't gonna go there. But we ain't never gonna see no live action, nothing from Milestone. If we do, I will thank my lucky stars. Static. But I wouldn't hold your breath. I mean, we'll see what happens with static. I mean, static. that would be the smart that would be the smart thing. The smart thing would be to look at what look at what Marvel is doing. Look mm -hmm. at the gripes and complaints, complaints about Marvel, and then don't follow Marvel. Do you? Because if you look at Black Adam, it does not follow Marvel in any type of way. 
I didn't see it. I I got it. I got it. Man, that's what happens when you get busy when you get you know when you get married. And stuff. Yeah, <laughs> but it's like I I haven't seen it right, but you know, and that's it's the, much you know, different. And that's what Hamada was doing. Hamada was trying to like break it up so they're not following Marvel. Like so, you know, when we talk about like stuff that is in development that we haven't seen anything of, Green Lantern, Static, uh. Man of Steel 2, which might be happening now, Val, now that yeah. spoiler is back. Yeah. Because you know, Henry Cavill I, came out and said, hey, I'm in it. I mean, facts. Like, but it's just like those are the kind of things that Gunn and Saffron are going to have probably a hand in, right? Yeah. Everything else, you know, the Black Superman story, Calvin Ellis, whatever, that's probably gone, which is sad. Yeah. I don't like the story, but you know, so, you know, I I like to see it. I like to see what they come up with and then go from there. Like, the news is only announced this week. Give them a time to figure it out, get adjusted. Working under Zaz, Zaz is going to be a lot. Working under, you know, True. you know, DeLuca and what is her name, Pamela Abbey. Like, it's like we have all these elements that we have no idea how that's going to play into how they shepherd DC. So, you know, we only know so much as fans. But they have they have a lot of power. It says they're going to be co-CEOs and co-chairs. Yeah. So, we'll and, you know, they shouldn't have much in their way. So, yeah. if if the new stuff is is not up to snuff, there ain't going to be no one else to blame because they, they seem to have a lot of power. So, yeah. You know, I, I know y'all, right. I know there's people out there that love their James Gunn, but if the new stuff start looking stinky, don't come in here trying to blame nobody else. Look, right? look, I will say, I will say, I was wrong about Peacemaker. I was like, first couple, I was like, uh, and then it hit one episode, I was like, Ooh, okay, <laughs> like, I, were, were. I was rocking with Peacemaker, like, after episode three or four, I trying to remember what it was, but like, I was like, Ooh, okay. Yeah, um, Peacemaker... Peacemaker was something that I wasn't, I didn't, I didn't really have a problem with the production quality or anything. It was just like, like due to the, due to the state of the world that I, that I already deal with, I was like, um, I, I can't deal with his dad and I can't deal with him. I know y'all try to make him lovable, but you know, I, um, it's a pass for me. It's a, it, it's a, I know y'all try to make them lovable, and I understand, you know, it, it's a pass. But, you know, I didn't watch it, and everybody that loved it, I let them love it. I ain't say nothing. I ain't, I, I'm not one of those people that's like, you like it, and you should be ashamed. I was just like, yo, man, I ain't watching that mess. And it was like, oh, you ain't watching I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> but uh, I do want to see, I want to see more integration. I want to see... I know it's not easy because you're talking about actors and payment and stuff, but I do want to see some more integration with different, you know, characters and all that stuff. Right. So, you know, and Gunn knows how to play with the universe, which is super important. Both Gunn and Saffron know how to play with the universe if they've been on the Yeah, game. definitely. Like, so, like, like for that me... Is a, that is a good thing. I will say that is a particular good thing. Like, for me, this is like, this is like you hiring the general from the other side of the war that you know is kicking your butt to lead your army now. Like, for me, that's all I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, you know, we'll see. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We'll, hopefully, we'll get we'll get a staff meeting, you know what I'm saying, and all the directors and stuff be like, all right, look, all right, y'all? We're going we gonna, to we gonna make this work, all right? Yeah. We're gonna, it's going we gonna, we got to step it up. I right, know no no more of this. I mean, look, we got we'll give y'all one. Y'all got Shazam, y'all can have that. We'll, but but besides that, let's let's tighten it up a little bit. Let's tighten it up. And, and why you gotta do why you gotta do my man on Shazam the wizard? Why you gotta give him them, that hair, man? Like, I mean, it is a step above Tyler Perry wig, but I mean, it's like, come on, y'all DC, y'all got money. Come on, come come on, get get, get his mean, hair straight. I mean, we think they got money, but well, look, yeah, that's true. I, that wasn't shade. It wasn't shade. Yeah, I Finance, know. I know what you're saying. Over finances, Hollywood financing, Hollywood accounting. True. 
don't don't even get started. But Hollywood so, budgets are inflated as all get out too. They bro, are. They be inflating a lot of stuff. Some of these salaries. Yeah. Like, that's what I'm saying. It's like, look, Yo, look. Maybe oh. maybe y'all need to maybe y'all need to double down and be like, look, hey, we going at this. We gonna go straight up hardcore stories, dope action. But hey, sorry. All these big names, they ain't gonna be in here. We just gonna get really dope actors that you just don't know their name. Don't worry about it, they're gonna be a mask on anyway. Don't even worry about it. Don't worry. Right. There'll be a mask on anyway. Don't, don't worry about it. I'm looking, <laughs> I'm looking forward to it, man. Like this was this is this is it's a good, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Word, um, word. um shouts to Geeky Andre said Aldis Hodge needs his own Hawkman movie or show that shows the origin of Hawkman and Hawk Girl. Uh, I'm down with that because Aldis Hodge killed it. Aldis Hodge, the reason you want to know why people are so excited about Aldis Hodge because it's been a while since we've seen a brother that has has his own. I, Dude, I mean, we could have had a brother that had his own, but people figured let's make you, let's take me? real life trauma and put it into a movie. But I'm a, I'm gonna leave that. We look, we'll deal with that in two weeks. We'll we'll come back to that later. But DC was like, hey yo. I heard y'all. I heard y'all ain't got a black man over there. Come on, come on over to death row. Like you know, you know what? That should be DC's energy. DC's energy should be like, y'all don't want nobody up in your videos dancing. Come to death row like that. Because all this Hodge is dope, and he look, got hands. All right. Look, if like I, I you know, way back when when all this was on leverage, man. Like I was like this guy. Those we don't want. And today, Amazon announced that he's the new Alex Cross, like, which was good. Yes. Word. <laughs> no, I, I've liked Aldis Hodge since back in Leverage days, too. He was my pick to be Black Panther way back then. Way but back of course, then. you know, things changed and all that. But like, yo, I'm down. Yo, Aldis Hodge, I thought he was dope for a long time. So, yeah. yeah. Shouts, out, and, shouts out to Aldis Hodge, man. I mean, when they said Hawkman, it's like I don't even gotta see the movie to know that he was gonna kill it. Like, yeah, because like, he, knows, he knows he again he knows how to bring it. He knows what fans want. He's charismatic AF. Like, and it's a and him, him and him and Pierce Brosnan, man. Like when you see it, those two together, like it, it's a real good relationship yeah. between those two. So right, yeah. So guys, hey, those are our thoughts. That's where we at. You never look. You never know. You never, you know, right, things right, might right. change. You never know. You never know what's going on. You never know what you're going to get. This, this DC universe, I mean, hey, what, what can you do? Uh, right. Are you going to show? Uh, <laughs> Black, Black Adam. You should... <laughs> Black Adam logo now. Oh, he, oh, he, made, he made a Black Adam logo. So y'all can see. It's, it's a little too bright, but y'all can see. He got, he got all kinds of, see, look, boom. He dropping heat for y'all. You know what I'm saying? That's what he be doing. So, for me, show him my magazine. Oh yeah! Oh, go and get go. <laughs> he got the the uh, San Diego Comic Con magazine. So, Clement, where can wonderful people find you? You know, Twitter, Instagram at Clement Bryant, talking about comics, entertainment marketing, entertainment business, streaming. And yeah. All right. <laughs> and we got All right. Uh, hit. Now, there you go. He going. <laughs> you guys. He gonna show you. He gonna show you. He got. He got his Black Adam stuff. Oh, on the sneak though. Uh, oh, real quick. Shouts to uh, DeAndre Mosley. Uh, now the now that the JSA is here, bring in Amazing Man. He's one of DC's best legacy characters. Shouts out for the super chat. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you know what? I'm not. The way they did the JSA, I'm I'm down with it. I'm I'm the way they brought it in. And the way kind of like they do the the members and all that, I'm down yeah. with it. I'm willing to see more. And I like that this movie is kind of like a softish sort of reboot, kind of like as far yeah. as like the direction and stuff. I'm I'm down with it. I'm I'm down. I'm. But Black Adam's voice is similar than his friend. Where's his friend? Rock's friend from the, the news we were talking about on Black Adam. Henry Cavill. No. Superman? No. Who? This boy, this boy don't need to be, he don't be done. <laughs> All right. So anyway, N-E-R-D, S-O-U-L, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, podcast, all that jazz. Just like, share, comment, subscribe. Much love to y'all. 
there are changes to the channel coming. There's a lot of stuff going on. Hip -hop, but hip hop and geek. Yes, hip hop and geek. And Some dope beats. Dope beats. Some dope comics. Dope comics. And some dope panels. And some dope panels. That's right. Okay. So, uh, no, 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 you can't. I'm trying. I gotta say peace first. Love all y'all. Thank y'all for coming. Peace. Peace. Mm. peace. Uh, <laughs> are you gonna do with me? I. 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 I.
all gorilla 